Hello students, welcome back. We know that the reactant molecules has to collide in order to form products. What do you think? Does all these collisions will result in the formation of products? If not, what are all the barriers to successful collisions? And what is meant by transition state, or activated state? So to know more about it and to get the answers to all these questions, let's discuss, let's see in this video. So now we are going to learn the most important part of the chemical kinetics that is the collision theory. So let's learn what is, what is collision theory. So according to this, uh, this theory, a reaction takes place because the molecules collide with each other. Let's say suppose I have a molecule A2 and uh, this molecule is reacting with another molecule B2 and it is giving product molecule that is one is AB and other is also AB. So two molecules of AB are produced. So here what would have been happened between these two reactants to form these products. So if you observe here this bond is broken here. The bond between these two atoms is broken and the bond between these two atoms is broken and a new bond is formed between atom A and atom B. So to form these products what would have been happened between the, these two reactant molecules. So to form the products these two molecules must collide with each other. So this is what collision theory says. So formation of products is possible only when the reactant molecules are collide with when they collide with each other then only the products will be formed. So if you see uh, at ordinary temperature and pressure the value the number of collisions per unit time per unit volume is very high. It is the order of 10 power minus 4 to 10 power minus 15. 10 power minus 4 to 10 power minus 15. This is at normal at ordinary temperature and pressure. The number of collisions which are occurring per second. So if per second these many number of collisions are occurring, so why all the reactions are not, not fast? This is not a small number, this is a very huge number. So all reactions would occur at faster rate according to this. But why some of the reactions are occurring at slow rate, which are slow? This is because of two factors. And let's see, uh, let's learn in detail what are those two factors and how they affect. Uh, 